Shelby Bonney, and I'm the host of the Innovator Series, brought to you by Technology for Obama. And I'm here with Fred Kasravi, who's the managing director or managing partner of Incept LLC, has founded over 12 companies in the medical device uh, arena, and has also either authored or co-authored over 100 patents. So when we talk about innovation, Fred's our man. So it's a great pleasure to be here with you, Fred. Good to be here. Thank you. So I want to start out because you've done a lot in your career in the medical device area, and I just thought it might be helpful for you to just give a little bit of background on some of the things you've done um, in that career. Yeah, I, uh, I'm actually involved with a, a sector of uh, innovation in the industry uh, that I'm always excited to talk about because it's, uh, it really happens to be one of these last bastions of leadership, export leadership for the United States, basically. It's, medical devices, the U.S. Uh, continues to be, even through all of the rough times that we've been through, basically, to be the uh, world leader in uh, medical devices. It's really a technology base that's sprung out of the United States. It's indigenous to the United States, basically. It's getting transported to some of the other countries, basically, like uh, China and Germany and Israel, and um, it's flourishing there, but the U.S. Uh, remains uh, and a, a leader, basically, worldwide and, and leader. And just for our viewers, can you give a couple of examples of some of the medical devices you've been involved with so they can kind of... Yeah, so um, I'm uh, actually uh, partners uh, with another partner in Boston uh, involved with uh, having started uh, a little over 12 companies uh, th that are uh, either in the cardiovascular space, uh, for example, products that treat stroke, products that... Uh, treat heart attacks, creating stents, uh, basically stent technologies, and a, uh, and a host of other products in the cardiovascular system. For example, uh, I'm involved with a company uh, that uh, no longer requires a patient to have their chest cracked open in order to have one of their valves, heart valves, uh, replaced, where you could actually go from a small hole in the groin, and uh, all of that procedure is going to be done minimally invasively. Patient goes home and uh, uh, within about 24 hours. Uh, no, none of that morbidity, none of that cost of hospital stay and what have you. So, and how did you get, how did you get involved in the industry to start with? So I, uh, I went to school in Tennessee. Uh, I'm not uh, a... Uh, Ivy League grad. I was never actually. Did you go to UT actually, or no to Tennessee Tech University? Okay. Yeah. So I, I lived in Cookville, Tennessee, for about eight years, uh, going to school there. Never a great student, just average usually. Um, but got through college, got my master's degree in Tennessee, and uh, had uh, three job offers. And not knowing which one of them was the right one, uh, I went for what I thought was the most exciting one. Uh, I was defense, uh, automotive, my, I'm a mechanical engineer by background, basically. And the other one was medical devices, and nobody knew what the hell medical devices were. So uh, I figured that's kind of cool, and uh, I got involved in it back in 1986. And do you, in terms of, you know, you've authored a lot of patents, were you, did, did you approach it originally as kind of a, an engineer slash scientist inventing things, or did you go in as a, in a business role early on? So I've always been excited about creating things, uh, never thinking that I'm actually good at it, but uh, always excited about it. And I think that's uh, one of the things that I, that I learned is uh, I got involved in the corporate environment, basically, was that um, you, you can be creative, you can come up with ideas, you can do whatever you need to do, basically, and you can be really, really good at what you do. Uh, but if you don't take people with you, if you don't kind of lift everybody up uh, along the ways with you, uh, things are not going to happen. Whether it's a, a company that's selling uh, donuts or is some company that's innovating a new uh, a medical device technology, basically. So we'll, uh, it's interesting. I, we look forward. We're gonna, in the next segment, we're actually talking about innovation, which I think will be a, a good segue. So it's been a pleasure talking to you, Fred. We look forward to talking Thank more. You.